Oh, hi. It's the 6th of September, 2017. And I have, I'm in T-Burns, and I have just returned from Norway uh, late last night. Uh, the trip to Norway didn't quite pan out in the fashion that I had intended when I uh, set off to go there. Uh, in fact, within a day of arriving there, I arrived there on the Saturday, uh, about 10 days ago. Then I was stitched up by a security guard in a hotel, the Radisson Blue, and I found myself sitting in my hotel bedroom and he had called so-called psychiatrists who showed up and sectioned me under the Norwegian Mental Health Act for absolutely no reason whatsoever. I hadn't done anything wrong. And I was detained in a Norwegian psychiatric hospital for a week and a day. Now my purpose of going to uh, Norway in the first instance was to base myself out of Norway um, to get away from this ongoing situation, nightmare situation, which I find myself in in Britain uh, as a result of latterly my taking Northumbria police to court for false imprisonment via making up stories about me of a defamatory nature uh, last summer with a view to getting me sectioned under the Mental Health Act which did occur on the 7th of July and I was held for 13 weeks until the 23rd of September and I was forcibly injected with the most horrendous of mind-destroying chemicals which totally rob a person of his faculties uh, both physical and mental um, and it took me a long time to recover from the ill effects of that so-called medication. Anyway, uh, I was reliably informed that uh, Northumbria Police had a plan to come to the house again and to section me again, again on totally made-up stories, which didn't have a, a shred of truth in them whatsoever, and again have me detained in a psychiatric hospital, probably the same one, St. George's of Morbeth, which is an absolute disgrace, um, really is utterly uh, malevolent, if you like. Uh, you know, they hold people there against their will uh, without there being any grounds of mental illness in the person whatsoever. Uh, so that's the reason I went to Norway in the first place. Uh, uh, didn't quite pan out as I expected, but now I'm back in Britain again, and I'm, because I was simply released on Monday of this week, two days ago. But now, surprisingly, if you like, I haven't given up on my Norwegian ambitions, uh, i.e. to make Norway my domicile, uh, and to base myself out of there, possibly for the rest of my life, but certainly until all of this thing dies down to reasonable levels in Britain, and I've instructed my lawyer this morning to initiate via his Norwegian counterpart a political asylum application. So that's where we stand at the moment. Uh, Ian Tiburn signing off 6th of September 2017.